All right. So the Chinook Nation might uh, be paid for land seized in the 1850s. The U.S. Department of Interior will have to re will have to reassess its decision to deny the Chinook Indian Nation the small sum it awarded 50 years ago for the vast territory surrounding the Lower Columbia River, uh, where their oral history says they have always lived. Uh, in 1970, the Indian Claims Commission awarded $48,000, which is really small and pretty common for the Indian Claims Commission, to the Lower Band of Chinook and Clatsop Indians, two of the five tribes that make up the Chinook Indian Nation today. The government put the money in a trust account where it has stayed, growing interest to the tune of over a half a million dollars. Um, the Chinook people have actually never seen a dime of that money, so the possibility that they will potentially get some money for the land that was taken from them is a really great thing. Now, if they could just get federal recognition back, they were given it briefly during the Clinton administration, then it was revoked. Um, so, oh, there's your time. Yep. <laughs> All right. So now it's my, it's my turn to respond to it. Um, okay. This is great news. This I, Again, this is a story that just checks all the boxes for me. Uh, there are so many uh, tribal, there are so many tribes in the country uh, that are not recognized uh, mm -hmm. by the federal government um, and have quite frankly been completely fucked Box over. This is, yeah. uh, this is and uh, to, to hear this story about potential recognition, getting their money, uh, it's, it's a shame they can't get some of their land back. Um, I mean, that, that, you know, real estate in the Pacific Northwest isn't exactly cheap, Jennifer. So, um, yeah. and just for clarity, this isn't about recognition. That's just kind of my personal suggestion, but I think it's important too that we not talk about native, native peoples as tribes, even if they're not federally recognized, we acknowledge them as nations because they are inherently sovereign nations that existed prior to your American contact. And I appreciate you reminding me of that very, very much. And with that.